here we are then in the heart of the Tweed Valley for what is selfishly one of the best days of being a mountain biker and that is of course New Bike Day and it is all the more special whenever the bike in question is one of the most talked about in the world the brand new Santa Cruz Megatar <laughs> And with that then, I am officially a very happy boy. Now we're partnered with Santa Cruz Bicycles again for the Enduro World Series and EWSE, which means that this is my new daily ride. It's gonna do every single stage this season. It's gonna do late night last lift joy rides. It's gonna do early morning road spins. It's gonna take my manky kid to the laundrette every morning. It's just gonna be my, my daily ride. Now we spent three years on the Gen 1 Megatar, so we know that bike inside and out which means that I'm in a good position to tell you the five things that you need to know about the new Santa Cruz Megatar. First of all, the numbers predictably maybe have got bigger. There's 165 millimeters of rear travel and 170 up front, and that's an increase of five and 10 respectively over the old bike's 160 all round. In its high setting, which is something we'll chat more about in a second, the bike has slackened from 65 degrees down to 63.8. The front centre is now 855 over the last bike's 825. So although we're talking about incremental changes, they all add up. And you can see the same in the wheelbase too. In its longest setting, the bike is now 1,298 millimetres between the axles. That's an increase of 40 millimetres for the same size over the old bike. So then in terms of how it works, the answer from Santa Cruz is obviously better. A lot of that is down to the latest incarnation of their lower link driven virtual pivot point suspension system that now utilizes a 62.5 shock. Nibbly? Yes. Here's a graph. Number two is the glove box. The glove box is a brand new feature this year for Santa Cruz and it gives the Megatar an ability to swallow some of your Enduro essentials. Whether it's a tube or a little tool roll with some spares, Santa Cruz now offer the purse and wallet combo which fit up inside the down tube thanks to a hatch door underneath your bottle cage. And this really does bolster its value to anybody who's considering taking the bike racing this year. More and more brands are beginning to offer solutions like this and your ability to fix your bike on the trail side is a key part of enduro racing so every little helps. I personally am a big fan of a fuss free looking bike and so the less need to lash things to the outside of it the better. The third one is adjustability. Now the previous model was adjustable in two separate places. A flip chip at the rear axle allows you to adjust the wheelbase and another one in the linkage allows you to adjust the bottom bracket height both between two positions. For reference Rory and I both used to run ours in the low bottom bracket and short wheelbase position just because that sort of gave the best balance of maneuverability for both our extremely different rider skill sets. Now the new bike does away with the one at the back and the theory behind this is that each Megatar now comes with a size specific back end. That means no matter what size Megatar you buy, you can enjoy the same stable ride. Fourth one is big wheels and big tires. The new Megatar is a fixed full time 29er so no mixed wheel sizes here. However, Santa Cruz have added to an already impressive mud clearing capability and you can now run 2.5 inch tires on the rear which is pretty good for enduro racing. At the Enduro World Series we are not unfamiliar with the concept of an overnight deluge and so instead of filling itself with mud and getting slower the new bike will keep shedding mud and keep you moving faster on the stages. The fifth and final one then is that the new Megatar remains the privateer's dream. Good race bikes are easy to work on race bikes and I'm not talking about in the confines of an F1 clean room, I'm talking about on the cramped confines of a hotel balcony using only a crisp packet as a workbench. Santa Cruz have gone to big lengths to make sure that the Megatar is still easily serviceable even in the back of a van with simply a multi-tool. Bearings pop in and out easily and there's a lifetime warranty on all the bearings for the original owner of the bike, meaning that if you want to go racing this year, there's probably no easier frame to do it with. 
So there we have it, those were the five things that you need to know about the new Santa Cruz Megatar frame. Stay tuned over the next few weeks, Rory and I will be building up our new bikes and talking you through our setups and how we get on with them. And in terms of build up, it doesn't get any bigger than the build up that's starting now ahead of the EWS and EWS E Tweed Valley race. We're going to pick up the new season right where we left off last year at home here in Scotland. Stay tuned to the channel for more as we begin the countdown to what promises to be one of the most exciting seasons of Enduro World Series racing yet. We'll see you then.